Boeing's 777X promises to be a very capable aircraft. Building off the success of the 777 family, this new generation of jet aims to reduce fuel burn, increase capacity, and improve the customer experience. Despite this, the type hasn't sold well as of late, garnering fewer than 50 firm orders in the past four years. And with the onset of COVID-19, several airlines are reevaluating their 777X orders as Boeing pushes back its entry into service. So now might seem like an unlikely time for a reversal of fortune. However, there's a case to be made that United Airlines, a longtime 777 operator, could be gearing up to place a sizable order. But why would United make such a deal, especially in the midst of an industry downturn? Let me explain. Now, say what you will about United. It's not exactly a secret that the airline has its fair share of critics. However, it's undeniable that the airline has always been an innovator. Back in its early days, it was the first airline to use modern day flight attendants, the first US carrier to order jetliners, and the first adopter of computer technology to plan flights. More recently, they were the first US carrier to order the groundbreaking 787 and the first to use commercial scale aviation biofuels. But most importantly, they've been extremely opportunistic when purchasing new planes. And there's one particular example of this that strongly hints at United becoming the next 777X customer. In order to find that example, we're gonna have to rewind the clocks back to 2013. In that year, Boeing publicly launched the 777X. While this was a huge milestone for the jet maker, it also created a bit of a production headache. Rather than build a whole new assembly line, Boeing would instead build the 777X on the existing 777 production line. The problem was that the plane wouldn't be ready until 2020, and Boeing didn't have enough existing 777 orders on hand to bridge that seven year gap. So in order to keep the line running, they'd be forced to slow down aircraft output. Such a slowdown would inevitably lead to a revenue hit, since Boeing receives the majority of an airplane's payment when it's actually handed over to the airline. To avoid this scenario, Boeing engaged in a renewed effort to sell more of the older 777-200 and 300 models. The challenge though, was that these variants would soon be made obsolete by their younger brother, meaning demand would be scarce. This is where United comes into play. Despite being the original 777 launch customer, the airline had yet to order the largest and most popular 777 variant, the 300ER. And the decision to refrain from doing so was a bit odd. While most established carriers were actively swapping out their gas guzzling 747s for wide body twins, United was a holdout but holding out actually proved to be the right move in the long run. Once Boeing's 777 production problems arose, United was presented with a golden opportunity. All of a sudden, the airline was in a strong negotiating position, dealing with a jet maker that was hellbent on selling outdated models. In 2015, the airline pounced, swapping 10 of its existing 787 orders into 10 for 777-300ERs. And over the next few years, the airline placed orders for an additional 12 units. While the exact savings aren't known, it's widely believed that by waiting, United saved hundreds of millions of dollars on these jets. So how does this deal foreshadow a potential 777X order? Well, first, we know this is an all-time great opportunity to purchase new aircraft. Both Boeing and Airbus are struggling to sell new jets amid the commercial aviation downturn. With their share prices tanking, both manufacturers would love a sizable order to shore up their backlog and help restore faith in their business. What's more, Boeing in particular has struggled to sell the 777X in the last few years, largely due to production delays and concerns over the plane's potentially excessive capacity. Given the fading confidence in the program, a sizable 777X order would be a massive win for Boeing. And whoever places an order for the type will be in line to receive steep discounts. 
Given that United has shown a propensity to capitalize on these sorts of opportunities and has a strong relationship with the jet maker, they seem like a prime candidate. But they wouldn't actually pull the trigger if they didn't actually have a need for these jets. Luckily, they do. Between 1990 and 2017, United operated 44 747-400s. And today, United only operates 22 of the 777-300ERs that were meant to act as their replacements. That leaves a 22-plane gap in their fleet. Now, some of you might argue that United doesn't need the massive 777X to replace their equally massive 747s, since they've actively grown their A350 and 787 fleets. You might make the case that not only do these jets cover the lost capacity, but they also afford greater operating flexibility and economics compared to jumbos. Now, in a normal world, that is a really good point. But the world we're living in now is anything but normal. And given recent circumstances, United might be looking to expand their capacity beyond their pre-COVID plans. This may seem counterintuitive. Most airlines have been shrinking their fleets in recent months, not growing them. But United is in a unique position. In the wake of COVID-19, many airlines will become defunct. And when air travel returns to normal, the supply of flights will no longer match the resurgent demand. As a large carrier with lots of assets and an extensive route network, United is well positioned to pick up that excess demand. Now, it's true that United could order more 787s and A350s to do the job, but given United's operating model, too many planes might actually be a curse. They've traditionally acted as a hub and spoke airline and are likely to lean on this strength in a post-COVID world. But the hubs that they operate at, such as Newark and San Francisco, are busy metropolitan airports where space is limited and operational expansion is more difficult. The best way to increase capacity at these locations might be to increase the volume of passengers per flight, not the total number of flights. Given that the 777X's massive size is tailor-made to connect large airports, the jet seems like a perfect solution. So what would such a deal actually look like? Well, my guess is that United will only purchase the larger 777X variant, the 777-9, and they'll place an order for something along the lines of 10 aircraft with options for 10 or so more. If they place an order fairly soon, I'd expect them to start receiving those jets in the final few years of the 2020s. Around that time, United will also start taking delivery of their first A350s from Airbus. So should they choose to make such a deal, they'd be setting themselves up quite nicely to have a robust and modern long haul fleet going into the next decade. So what do you guys think? Is it smart for United to purchase the 777X? Personally, I'd love to see it. I think that those folding wingtips would look really cool painted in United's new blue color scheme. Thanks so much to my patrons for helping to make this video possible. And as always, if you learned something new today, leave a like and subscribe to keep learning. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.